Uh, deliveries to all countries receiving Pfizer uh, doses made at the European facility will be temporarily reduced. That includes us. Pfizer has confirmed that Canada's deliveries will be impacted for the next four weeks. We will see an average reduction over this time frame of 50% of expected deliveries. Canada's COVID vaccine plan will have to be adjusted as pharma giant Pfizer says it's delaying deliveries due to changes being made at one of its European plants. But top Canadian officials say this isn't moving the goalposts or changing the deadlines for Canada's vaccine rollout. This is a temporary delay and we remain on track to have enough approved vaccines for everyone who wishes to be vaccinated by the end of September 2021. In a statement issued to City News, Pfizer says the reduction is due to modifications to the process and facility producing vaccines, adding that the changes will help Pfizer produce more doses when work is done. Vaccine logistics boss Major General Danny Fortin says the next shipment won't be affected, but the shipment for the last week of January will be just a quarter of the size promised. This is a, a disappointment and this is a, a drop in numbers for the short term. We'll have long term gains collectively and we'll have significant uh, increase in numbers uh, in February and March. Meanwhile, top public health officials say early vaccines won't shift the curve significantly in its latest models. The vaccine in the short term is not going to make any difference to the transmission and that projection. The, the vaccines are the, protecting the priority groups right now. Those early doses earmarked for long-term care and frontline health workers will keep those populations protected. But in the meantime, the rest of Canadians need to bring down a second wave curve that's now on pace to eclipse the first wave. In terms of the national projections and the transmission in communities, uh, that is not, you're not going to see that in the initial months. And so, which is why I think our message at the end of our presentation is absolutely get on with the public health measures, do all of those things, don't do non-essential travel. Um, all of that really counts, it works. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he's not currently contemplating a blanket ban on non-essential travel, saying the measures in place now are working. But he did add that he is open to the idea of banning certain flights relating to new COVID variants emerging in the United Kingdom and Brazil. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.